projected length is going to give us one of our most important interpretations of the dot product, so pay attention. We are going to use this a lot. Here's the idea. Dot product with a unit vector gives you a projected length. So let's say you have some unit vector. Let's call it u. It's got length 1. Now take some other vector. Let's call it v. What we're going to do is interpret the dot product u dot v as an oriented projected length of v along the u axis. Well, what do I mean the u axis? Well, draw a straight line through the u vector and think of that as a scale along which we're going to measure components. So take the vector v and orthogonally project it onto that u axis. And then what I want to do is look at the length, at the component along that u direction. That length is u dot v with the proviso that we have an orientation with that as well. So if u and v are pointed in the same direction, then we're getting a positive number. But if v is pointed in the opposite direction, then it's tracing out a negative component along the u axis, and that dot product will be negative. So in general, what you get as you take your vector v and your unit vector u, and you move them around, and you look at different values of the dot product, you're really getting this oriented projected length after you do that orthogonal projection. Again, if they're roughly aligned in the same direction, you get a positive. Otherwise, you get a negative number. That's a good interpretation. Here's a simple example. What is the component of the vector a given with components 5, negative 1, and 2 in the direction of the vector b with components 0, 3, and negative 4? Now note that b is not a unit vector, so we just can't take a dot b and boom, we're done. No, no, no. But we can make b a unit vector. And the simplest way to do that would be take that vector b and divide by its length so that the resultant is of unit length. This means that this component is really a dot b divided by the length of b. And now this is all very, very easy to compute. The length of b is the square root of 0 times 0 plus 3 times 3 plus negative 4 times negative 4. That gives us the square root of 25, which is equal to 5. Likewise, computing a dot b is simply 5 times 0 plus negative 1 times 3 plus 2 times negative 4, which is negative 11, giving us a final answer of negative 11 divided by 5, or negative 2.2. And again, what does this mean? This means that A and B are, are roughly speaking not pointed in the same direction. And the component of A along the B axis is negative 2.2.